Hey guys, what's up? This is another Big Man with Big Guns um, video production. Uh, this time is the Lego MP5. Well, this is the stuff that you add on to it, but, uh, um, I'll just show you the basic stuff. Alright, so here's your full automatic slash semi-automatic semi mechanism. To make it full automatic, right now it's semi-automatic because when you pull the trigger, this bar goes down, but it gets blacked by this bar, and you let go of the trigger. To make it full automatic, you just pull this pin out, and it, um, there's nothing to stop the uh, mechanism from keep from uh, going constantly. And so this kind of has a little bit of recoil. I wouldn't say too much. Um, but yeah, I'd have to say it's got like 10 times less recoil than the AA-12 or the... M249 or the M249 para, but yeah, um, I show you guys how to build this gun, but it was the Spectre version. Um, everything's basically the same. Everything from here to here is the same. The things that are different is you take this part off. I'm not going to take that off right now because I don't want it to fall apart because it's got eight rubber bands on it. You can load more, but I only have up to eight of these certain types of rubber bands. See, those ones, these ones don't really work. You need flexible, very long, flexible, medium-ish for like a, about that long. But yeah, so I just added this part on. This is supposed to be like uh, the grip or the guard part of the barrel. Here's the old grip for the Spectre. This is an attachable grip for the MP5. For the Spectre, it's original. For the MP5, it is not. Here is your magazine. I show you how to build that, but it was the straight Spectre version magazine. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. Same mechanism, same guard, or same pistol grip, same trigger mechanism, same uh, magazine, um, lock mechanism. It's basically the same everything. <clears throat> and then here's the top. All this is pretty much the same, except you add two little dots, or little dot pieces on the end or something. Just like that. Stick them in those holes. So everything on the on the um, upper receiver, this is the lower receiver. Um, this, from here to here, is about um, the same thing. What I added here was... Um, uh, the top part of the the grip or the guard. So what you want to do is you want to stick that on. Just like that. And clip that part on. Clip that. And then the shoulder stock. Right here. And you gotta have those two things here. put that on. That's what it looks like. Stick the magazine in. Okay. So there you go. Here is the suppressor. I'm not going to put that on right now, but the, that's what it looks like. I will put the grip on right now. And then the ACOG scope. So, put that on there, so, alright, and let me show you semi-automatic, let me set this up, it's very difficult to set these things up, I'm just going to put it on the ground, alright, so, this is semi-automatic. There's one. I shot two. All right, and now full automatic. I am very pleased with this mechanism. One rubber band busted because it was a little bit too small. That's why I don't like using these types. 
All right, so push the button, pull the mechanism out, and reload again. Pin came out. All right, yeah, load it again. Let me show you how to load it the right way. Here, I show you how to build that. So now I can put the suppressor. The suppressor is just for show. So all in all, that's what it looks like. Let me take the ACOG scope off. That is what the iron sights look like. Adjustable right here, and adjustable here, and then here's your pinpoint. All right, so that's about it. And to reload, just take this stock off. Um, hang on, some pieces fell apart here. On the stock. All right, there you go. Just pull that off. Take the magazine out. Take this presser off. Put the pin back in. Just load your rubber bands on. And put them on that gear. And then just twist it every time. Okay, so that is my LEGO MP5. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.